Is this a shield? Hmm. Doesn't look very solid, though. Seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you. Don't touch it. It might send us flying for all we know. Hmm. Big shield, big shield! <laughs> Klee knows you're in there! Hey, Dodo King, it's me, Klee! Come out and face me! No answer? Huh. Maybe he's not here. No, he's gotta be here! The bigger the shield, the better Dodo King must be! Sounds like Klee logic to Paimon! Oh, I think Klee's right. It's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. A reasonable inference. I agree. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected devices to the source, we should be able to destroy it. Let's all look for any potential devices in the vicinity. Ready? Steady? Da -da -da! Klee, walk! Don't run! Come on! You don't want to finish last place, do ya? Let's go! Quick! Look! Look! Hmm. This does look like it could have something to do with the shield. Three devices in total. And look, the light converges in one place. Albedo, are we able to deactivate the shield from here? Hmm... These light-emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them. Looking at the shape here, it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place. What shape is that? Um, I don't get it. Someone explain. An oblong circle. Fan-shaped, I suppose. Hmm, what could it be? We're by the ocean. This shape is a seashell, perhaps? But all the shells we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. If it's not a shell, then it's got to be... Huh, a fish scale. A fish scale? But why would we want to put a fish scale there? Are there any other clues around? Whatever it is, we'd be placing it into the frames in front of the light-emitting device. Which means... I've never seen anything like this. Oh, so that's what they're for. If I'm not mistaken, this is a very particular type of installation. Light is integral to its function. I've seen similar designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements or emit on a specific path. The mechanism is only activated if the light conditions are met. It would appear that these three installations are the keys to activating the energy shield. Would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red, blue, and yellow. Yes, just like letter. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. Huh, that's right. Honorary Knight! Didn't that big machine we just defeated drop something? Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, white yellow like autumn leaves. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to this whole riddle. Give precious things to the greedy spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct... Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan! In that case, Paimon's got something to say. On the way over, Paimon saw a huge conch shell with lots of fish swimming around it. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to do it. Plus, the water is pretty shallow over there. It'll be easy to get the crystals back if the plan doesn't work. It will work. Don't jinx it. Okay, okay. It'll work. Everyone follow Paimon!
should do it, right? But where are the fish? Please, was there anything else on that letter? Oh, uh, um, what was it? Greedy spirit, greedy spirit. You made the moon run a ring. So, maybe this type of fish only comes out after dark? Or to put it another way, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Catch fish, eat. Yeah, yeah, let's go fish blasting. Hey. Hold on, Klee. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Klee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean, and then we can go together, right? Uh, yes, I did say that. <sighs> All right then, time to go fish blasting with Klee. Uh, is Paimon hearing things? Jean and Klee are gonna go fish blasting? It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. It's just a bit of relaxation, right? Find some fish! Find some fish! Let's go! There! Mini fish! Who's gonna get there first? Wait! Wait! Whoop! There they go! Well, if Razor is going, then I suppose it's fine. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. I was just thinking about taking a stroll. Meaning, you're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Captain Kaya's on the case. <sighs> Master D. Luke, aren't you interested in pirate treasure? Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. Paimon doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. For a bunch of grown-ups, they really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Albedo! Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. Jeez, what's up with everyone? Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's not often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. <sighs> I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. Traveler, make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. No, I... I was just... <sighs> what I mean is, I hope you enjoy yourself here. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone, especially Klee. This is my duty as the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Havonius. That's Jean for you. Always reliable. Traveler, thank you. It is nice of you to say so. Anyway, I hope we can all find moments of peace and happiness on this beach. It should be about time to check on the fish. Let's meet up with everyone first. Honorary Knight! Over here! As we suspected, they were drawn to the crystal. Catchy, catchy fish! Uh, no! No! 
to keep Klee from blowing up the fish to pieces, perhaps it'd be better to let us catch the fish? After all, we're experts at collecting all manner of wildlife. And that's all of them. We should have all the fish skills now. them for me. It'll be fine. I trust you. Then we'll place the fish skills and let Klee activate the final and most important mechanism. Okie dokie. I'm gonna finally see you, Dodo King. <laughs> Time to see what you really look like. I must say, Klee's incredibly excited. You can do it, Miss Honorary Knight. I'm cheering for you. Yay! Just what will become... Yes, we're all here for you. Don't worry, Klee. We've all got your back. No matter who the enemy is, as long as we're here, you don't have to be afraid. Perfect. I also want to see how strong the enemies on this island really are. Go. I'm here. Guys, don't say things like that. What if Dodo King just wants to invite Klee to his house to chat? Or, yes, maybe he already approves of Klee. Will he really approve of me? Why wouldn't he? You've always tried your best and have done a good job. Really? Alright! Leave this to me! Press, press, press the button! Ah! 
I must be confused. What is this? This entire island is like a massive gift box hidden beneath the energy shield. There seems to be something over there. Shall we take a look? Yes, I want to look. Wicked girl of flame, you have finally arrived. I've waited far too long. How very boring. You dare face me, the overlord of the Dodo clan, Dodo King. Such glorious courage. Though such courage is admirable, but it is now meaningless because... Because Dodo King is me! <laughs> Your mother, Alice. Huh? Mom? Wait, Alice? The person who wrote the Tibet travel guide? Klee and her fellow islanders. Hey there. So, how did you like it here? Was it fun? Summer skies and the ocean surf. Mm, quite the vacation, no? There's no use looking for me. I'm not actually near you. The speaking device on the platform before you is none other than my personal creation. The Alice phonograph. I'm using it to convey a mother's love. Uh, you can't be serious. Hey, I didn't scare you all off, did I? Sorry, Mike Lee loves playing with all sorts of small toys. As her mother, I naturally want to support her. These toys aren't small at all! Please, m mother It's a pity that I can't meet you. But I'll be watching your every move from afar, just as always. It was actually Alice. <sighs> How careless of me. Wait, what? <sighs> you might find all of this a bit odd. Why would a mother so far from home expend so much effort to create such an aquatic wonderland? Ding, ding, ding! That's correct. I've personally been to those islands. I absolutely adore the ancient ruins and unique landscape. I prepared everything so you all could take part and enjoy the islands as well. Please, Mother also seems to have quite the free spirit. <laughs> Are any of you saying bad things about me now? Uh, no! Is she listening to us? No need to be so troubled. What do you mean? Klee's mother, Alice, is an extremely enigmatic and near-omnipotent sorceress. Don't be overly concerned. This is just her character. You must have been curious about what was behind those letters. The boats, the buoys, the energy shield. Mm, actually, I thought it was a lot of effort, but this was the only way to invite everyone here. Am I right? The islands are just full of stories. The original inhabitants, shipwrecks, mystical machinery, countless coincidences converge here. It would have been such a waste if I didn't make these arrangements. Now, let me guess. Everyone who received a letter should be present. Kaya, Diluc, Razor, Jean, Barbara, and then there's the reliable and intelligent Albedo, and the mysterious Traveler, and her good companion, Paimon. You were all invited by me to accompany Klee. Thank you all for allowing my daughter to have a memorable summer. Everything on the islands is a gift for you all, as thanks for keeping my little Klee company. But when you hear this recording, I'll already be traveling in other faraway lands. The life of a traveler is such haste and amusement. <laughs> Ask the traveler next to you and you'll know. So Alice went to all these lengths because she was too busy to be with Klee? No, mom's just like that. Now, everyone, if you're trying to find some hidden meaning in all this, I must tell you that the situation isn't as complicated as you may think. The reason why I like the city of Mondstadt is that its freedom is exactly what my daughter and I could ever hope for. My wish is simple. 
I want Klee to grow up with a curious yet kind heart. As long as she so desires, she can do anything and go anywhere. So that's it. Well, I must admit that it certainly fits Alice's style. My apologies. I misunderstood. It must be nice to have a mom who's such a character. Yep, mom is the bestest mom. Mom, we caught fish, sailed a boat, went swimming, and played a lot of things. Everyone's been super duper amazing and very kind to me. Next time, you can come with us and we can all play here again. It appears that mother and daughter are kindred spirits, both wild and free. Ah, oh, Summer. Speaking of Summer, when I went to those islands, it also happened to be Summer. Sitting on the beach, listening to the waves roll against my feet, I thought of you. Klee, you are a child of Summer, a present to me from the sea and the wind. Mom is thankful for your birth and wanted to give you something. So, Mom dressed up these islands, transformed the ancient ruins into a summer park, and used the moniker of Dodo King to invite you. In another world, there are tales of a wondrous island named after golden apples. Known by many names, it embodies the majestic vistas conjured by human fantasy. Mom loves that story and wanted you to enjoy the wonderful things in it. So Mom gave you sapphire waters, pearly sands, a fantastical paradise. For you and for those who love you. Huh. So there were only three crystals. Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. Perhaps from Alice's perspective, this archipelago is the natural fourth crystal. Located in the middle of the sea and covered by plant life, it truly is a lustrous and emerald summer crystal. Klee, just like Mom, you are of a race blessed with longevity. For us, time is like a gust of wind, moments come and end. In such a long life, parents are but a child's first connection. Even though we don't want to be separated, there will come the day when you must walk your own path. Klee, Mom will always love you, but there are also others by your side. Friends who accompany you, teachers who educate you, people who are willing to stay on an island for you despite knowing how unusual it is. Ah, oh, summer is for everyone. No matter how life changes, no matter how many things happen this year, summer will never disappear, just like the love between people. From now on, regardless of wherever you go, I hope you never forget how many people in this world love you. Oh yes, be sure to listen to Mr. Albedo at home. Mom will regularly return to see you two. Actually, whenever I have a moment to spare, I sneak back to check on you and everyone else. <laughs> Has no one noticed? <laughs> Aunt Alice, the same as ever. You don't think Albedo knew from the start, do you? Huh? Uh, time's almost up, so I'll stop here. Right, right. I spent a lot of effort on this place, so you all must play your hearts out. Everyone, my darling Klee. See you next time. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Dodo King was actually Mom. I don't know why, but I am very happy. Nope. Mom is the most strongest mage, so she can keep me company no matter where she is. She never lets me feel lonely. I love Mom this much. Miss Honorary Knight, do you love Klee? I also love you very much. You have to play with me lots here or else Mom will be disappointed. I still have a lot of Jumpy Dumpties, and I brought Dodoko here, too. I'll take you swimming and fish blasting. <sighs> it's always fun when we're with you, Klee. Hey, come on! Let's not keep Klee waiting. Come on, let's go!